Hello, it's time for another rant about the snobs, because uh, we got a rant about them, you know, um, not just with the trains and what happened last night, uh, but also with the the obvious disregard. It's like, it's just, every time I see them, I'm reminded that they're in their own little world, in their own little enclave, completely unaware of the suffering and the pandemic all around them. Uh, and we're going to talk about it in this video. But first, we're going to go over what happened with the railroad again last night and how outrageous it was. So, we get treated on the main line terribly. And uh, the, as you know, what happened last night was they wound up canceling a bunch of trains on the main line. Like a bunch in a row, like three or four in a row. And this was the 608 to Huntington here. Uh, this was posted on Twitter. Jam-packed up. Good thing everybody has the mask on. That's very good. I see everybody's wearing the mask. Unlike on the Babylon branch, where they think they're too good to wear the mask. Um, looks like everybody's got the mask on, of course, but we get punished because, again, look at that we have a diverse crowd of people here. So that's why we don't get, we get treated like the way we do. Uh, and this is what happened last night, as you know, because they had canceled the 601 to, from Penn Dew and Hicksfield at 645. The 546 from Penn Dew and Huntington at 63. They both canceled back-to-back -back trains. All right, so everybody had to take the 608. And they didn't even suggest the 608. They said customers can take the 630 from Penn Due to Huntington. Um, and that's, that's in addition to the fact they canceled the 541 from Penn Due to Ronkonkoma uh, and the, 520, the, uh, the 533 from Penn Due to Hicksville and the 522 from Penn Due to Ronkonkoma. So they canceled a bunch of trains in a row. Obvious discrimination going on on the railroad last night. It's plainly obvious what they're doing. Uh, the South Shore just gets everything handed to them on gold, uh, gold-plated everything, uh, while uh, we folks on the main line get treated poorly, mainly because of our diversity. This is discrimination. It is illegal, but this is the same MTA that is, uh, you know, telling the disabled people they can't uh, fix their reduced fare metro cards. Uh, if they've expired, you're out of luck. Uh, this is the same MTA that discriminates time and time again. And this is all because of Pat Foy. So... Uh, Pat Foy, obviously the worst chairman in the history of the MTA. Uh, and then last night we had the signal trouble because of the storms. And then today there was switch trouble in Hicksville as well. Uh, so we go over here. Uh, there was switch trouble in Hicksville. Uh, I think uh, five ten a minute uh, due to switch trouble. So uh, this is what you get on the main line, uh, folks. This is what you get to deal with on the main line. Uh, and I'm going to just see if we can do hashtag LRR and see if there are any other posts about what happened last night. Uh, does not look like it. Okay, nothing really. Um, so, this is what happens on the railroad. And this is Cuomo's MTA. Uh, this is Cuomo's MTA. This is what you get. Andrew Cuomo's MTA and if Andrew Cuomo cared about us he would do something about getting rid of Pat Foy because the MTA is a complete disaster right now uh, and then we're going to be having this work again taking place in a couple of weeks with no shuttle buses of course because they'll be doing the New Hyde Park Bridge uh, but they, they, just, they just get everything their way on the South Shore I, I don't understand how How, uh, we're going to go back to that picture here for a moment. Well, that's not the one. We're going to have to find it again. Um, all right, I'll just show you this. All right. I agree with this. All right. But how come the MTA is not enforcing this? They only gently remind people to wear the mask. And number two, how come they allow trains to get overcrowded. You can't, you know, how come they canceled so many trains on the mainland last night? Seven mainline trains were canceled. Many back to back. No other branch was hit like that. Why did that happen? There's no excuse for that. There's a problem. The cancellations have to be spread out among all the branches. But to sock one branch with the most cancellations and then have people jam on a train shows that the MTA does not care about your health. They do not care. Because they don't do anything about people who don't wear the mask on the train. They don't do anything about overcrowding. They don't care. And the MTA is putting people's health at risk. And the governor needs to get involved and say, Pat Foy, you're out. But he won't do that. But again, it's all about a certain demographic. That certain demographic. This is what this whole video is about. Because I'm tired of what they're getting away with. I'm tired of it.
And we know they're getting the best because, guess what, Lindbrook is getting those nice fancy light posts that we probably won't see on the main line. Just because, just because. So now we're going to go and look at News 12 South Shore and, and what a hypocrisy that station is. And of course, News 12 was talking about the improving jobs numbers, and guess where they were? They're never in the middle of the island. No, they're never in the middle of the island. Let's see where they were. News 12's Andrew Anger has a story as we continue our team coverage. Like most businesses, the Sable Running Company was closed during the pandemic, making owner Brendan Barrett very worried. Very challenging, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Save it. They're on the South Shore. What else is new? That's all they care about is the South Shore. That's all they care about is the South Shore. So this is the South Shore for you. So this is this is what you this is what you, this is what this is News 12 South Shore. Yeah, you know, that's all that's all they care about. There's no crime. Let's see if they see. Let's go to the crime here. Let's see if there's any crime coverage at all about the crime that people are dealing with in the middle of the island. Not much. All right, they do have one report in in in, in sta uh, for a man stabbed in Hempstead. Oh, that's from June 29th. Um, so not much. Meanwhile, this is what's this is what people in the middle of the island have to deal with. Homeless men breaking into vacant Suffolk homes. So, two homeless men stole copper from multiple vacant homes in Suffolk County in May and June. They were vacant. They were vacant, but uh, this is where they all were. Selden, Selden, Corum, Corum, Center Reach, Medford, Corum, Gordon Heights, Selden, all in the middle of the island. Uh, that, that, that's just what you get. This is what you get. It's all in the middle of the island. And I could go through many other of these. Other, most of these crimes are in the middle of the island. Another example, on the, on the, and again, look, cases hit 50,000 in one day uh, from coronavirus. All right? Yet the stock market keeps going up. Sure, the economy's doing great. The president thinks we're doing great. Sure. Nassau County Police Department. Here we go. Nassau County. All right? Batteries stolen from National Wholesale Liquidators in West Hempstead. Five dollars in cash west from a car in Westbury. Property stolen from a vehicle in Albertson. Elmont. Elmont. One on the South Shore, Lido Beach. Albertson. Elmont. Levittown. Roosevelt. Belrose Terrace. Elmont. Great Neck Plaza. Newcastle. These are cars being stolen from, license plates being stolen from cars in Hewlett. And one incident in Wansaw. And then you had the rest of these. East Meadow, Levittown, East Meadow, Bethpage, Westbury, Elmont, Westbury, East Meadow, Levittown, Levittown, Lawrence, North Massapequa. It's sort of toward the south shore. Westbury, Syosset, North Massapequa, Westbury, Syosset, Uniondale, Westbury, Oceanside. There's a lot of these. You get the idea. Almost everything is in the middle of the island. 75%. 80% is in the middle of the island. Uh, well, they're sitting pretty on the South Shore. They're sitting pretty, and that's why they don't News 12 South Shore doesn't cover the crime. While the little snobs on the South Shore just sit pretty in their own little world. And they're in their own little world, too, when it comes to coronavirus, because uh, this is one thing News 12 did report on. Island Park Bar became the first bar on Long Island to lose its liquor license after it failed to comply with social distancing Guidelines. This is on the South Shore in Island Park, docks, bar, and kitchen. 235 patrons packed onto an outdoor deck with a capacity of 42. Extremely dangerous. Whoa. You know what? Th that's the way these people are. They think they can just live in their own little world and it doesn't affect them. I'm tired of them. I'm tired of them. It's time to call them out again. News 12 South Shore. That's what I call them. They're not News 12 Long Island. They're News 12 South Shore. That's because that's all they care about is the South Shore. They don't care about the middle of the island. You know what do you see here? Talking about bail reform, reflections on race. They could care. I love that News Twelve tries to make it like they care about minorities. I, I love that. Meanwhile, they don't cover what happens in in their communities. They don't call, talk about the crime that we deal with. They don't talk about the discrimination from the MTA. They don't talk about any of that. They only care about a certain demographic. And then you have Samantha Orgiri, this preppy blonde woman here, doing the weather. She's not a meteorologist. There's no way she's a meteorologist. Enjoying the sea breeze in Long Beach. She should be, look at her. Just look at this woman. Look at this freaking woman. 
can't stand her. I cannot stand her. This was her video from yesterday. She looks drunk. She looks drunk. Hi, everyone. Sam Wajiri. We are in a little bit of a break during our show right now, and we have um, some wild storms around Long Island. They really blossomed pretty quickly. And oh, God, I can't stand listening to her. See, even my microphone fell off. I can't stand listening to her. She's awful. She is awful. But this is the demographic that News 12 gears to. At least News 12 Long Island. Samantha or Jerry, I think you've had just a little the too much wine. Near 90 on the North Shore. We've got beach weather. We've got great weather heading into the holiday weekend. She Lots loves the heat. Excited about that. She loves the heat. She needs to be taken to the desert. That's what she needs. I mean, she never reports in the middle of the island. It's always the South Shore. Always the South Shore with her. She doesn't even report on the weather in the middle of the island. It's ridiculous. Yeah, she needs to go to the desert in Deer Park. No, 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 no. That's too easy, Samantha or Jerry. That's too easy. I got another desert you need to go to. It's New Jersey. Yeah, you can go into New Jersey, sweat it out in Tom's River. That's where she belongs. That should be a punishment. Little preppy little lion cave. She's in her own little world, that woman. I'm telling you. Own little world. But that's, that's the way these snobs are. They're in their own little preppy world. And they, they continue to violate the, the, and it's not just here, it's in the city, it's in, it's even in New Jersey at the Jersey Shore, places like Avalon where they, this is, that bar, uh, this bar was shut down uh, because of what ha happened. It's because of these snobs and their desire to crowd in the bars as to why indoor dining is delayed. That's right, their actions are affecting people in New Jersey who genuinely need to sit indoors in air conditioning because they might get heat stroke. All right, because of these snobs, they ruin it. And it's unfortunate that Phil Murphy can't just single them out and say, we're closing the damn bars. Even Dr. Fauci said, we need to close the damn bars. All right, we need to close the damn bars. We need to close them on Long Island, too. No bars. No bars. All right, you should be able to go inside a restaurant, whether in New York City or New Jersey, uh, and, and get an air conditioning. You can't even, some restaurants, even some chains like Wendy's, the corporate is not even letting people dine inside. It's, a, it's outrageous. And I took a walk through Lindbrook tonight, and you can see these bars are just hopping. You know, it's so busy everywhere, and, and I'm a little concerned that there may be too many people in some of these bars here. Uh, you know, but again, they're just oblivious to the crisis. It's, it's just another holiday weekend for them. They've for forgotten that we're still in a pandemic, I guess. Uh, you know, and that they should be practicing social distancing. But, you know, this is what you get here. Uh, only the best for, uh, at least those people have masks on. But uh, a lot of people, they don't have masks on. When you're gathered in a crowd like that, you really need to have a mask on. Even if you're outside, uh, you know, it's very important. You see just lots of luxury cars all over the place just happening. These people, like I said, they're in their own little preppy little world, their own little perfect little world there that they have there oblivious to all the other suffering around them. You know, these are probably all Trump... Trump... Only the best. <laughs> Indoor dining now opens. You can go inside. Some people are still choosing to sit outside. This is what it is in Lindbrook, you know? There's the movie theater there. You know, uh... You know, uh, the movie theater's closed, but the town is still doing well. You know? Um... Uh, you know, it's busy everywhere. Uh, everywhere's just hopping, you know? Meanwhile, you know, the way it is... In the middle of the island, we don't have any of that activity, but, uh, you know, uh, th this is what I mean. Look at these people. They're crowded too close to each other. Uh, this is a concern of mine here. Uh, again, these are just young, oblivious people. They don't care. They don't, they don't realize we're in a pandemic. They don't care. They're selfish. They're arrogant. They're a certain demographic, and they're going to ruin it for everybody. Meanwhile, in the middle of the island, we've got to deal with the bums hanging out. Uh, this was in Mineola the other day, literally, a guy sleeping in a parking space. Yeah, he was out, and his face isn't even in the picture, so don't worry about it. But, you know, I, mean, I had to document it because this is outrageous, what we're dealing with here in the middle of the island. But nobody cares. Oh, the economy's doing great, Mr. Trump. Oh, it's doing great. Lord and Taylor's going out of business. J.C. is probably going to be going out of business. Millions of people still unemployed. Many towns hurting. Uh, you know, oh, yeah, it's great for the snobs, but for everybody else, it's hell right now. All right, but that's all he cares about. Look at his spokesperson. Uh, you know, she's, she's one of them for sure. 
I, I cannot stand her. I cannot stand her. So uh, that's you know pretty much the way I feel. And this is why, you know, Phil Murphy and Cuomo are upset about it. You know what I mean? And look, I don't think they're handling it properly. I think they need to go. They don't want to go after a certain demographic. Because if I was in their shoes right now, I'd shut these damn bars down. I'd allow indoor dining but at 50% capacity in restaurants that don't serve alcohol. Um, but bars, shut them down. Uh, there's no reason for people to go to a bar, all right? There's no reason to get drunk, all right? There's just no reason for it, all right? When people get drunk, they get careless. And you know they're going to get loud, and you know they're going to spread the virus around that much more. Look, all right, I know. There's some people that... Are, that Go too far with the virus, all right? You know, too far with it. And then you have a lot of people who don't take it seriously, including our president, all right? There are parts of Florida right now uh, and Texas where there's, there's no ICU beds available. That's a serious problem. That's what we avoided in New York. But they didn't avoid it in Florida because they don't want to shut the bars down. Well, actually, they did. I think they did finally close the bars in Florida. Uh, but we need some leadership here. But there is no leadership from the president. That's the problem. And that's why it's hard for me to support a second term of this guy. All right, I just—it's just almost impossible for me to vote for him again. All right, I made a mistake the first time doing it. I'm not going to make that mistake again. I can't stand what the left is doing with the tyranny that they use. But at the same time, the right is just being so careless right now with this whole thing. You know, what is the big deal about distancing and wearing a mask? And why do you have to go to a bar? Why do you have to go to a bar? Uh, I don't understand it. And yeah, these people are outside. They're still too close to each other. This is not a good situation. But again, it's always about them. They're selfish. They're entitled. They're arrogant. And when they get called out, they, what do they do? They intimidate. They get their way time and time again. They get the best train service. All their communities get all the attention and all the investment. Yet, they're dumb. They're dumb. They're not educated. Most of these people on the South Shore, they're finance professionals. They're all about Wall Street. They're not educated. No. I think there are more educated people in the middle of the island. We have more doctors here. We have more scientists here. We have more people who actually obey the guidelines, unlike you folks on the South Shore who think it's some kind of joke. It's not a joke. We're still in a pandemic. Coronavirus hasn't gone away, though you, th you think it has. Um, it's still here. It's still with us. And we still need to act responsible because I'm going to be damned if the restaurants out here are forced to shut down because of your misbehavior. I'll be damned if I have to sit outside in the heat. You all have cars. You all live the spoiled life. You probably all live in nice little houses. So stay home. Unfortunately, I live in a tiny apartment with no view and construction noise from 8 to 6 p.m. every day. All right? Today was a day I probably would have stayed home if it wasn't for the constant banging, sawing, and, 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 and noise that I had to deal with in this apartment all day. I had to get away from it. It was brutal out there. I would have just stayed home. But I can't. Not in this place. So, you know, all you people are spoiled. You are spoiled. And, and I'm worried you're going to ruin it for people like us. And if, you do, and if you do, you will get called out again. I don't care. These people need to be called out. They are knuckleheads. Yes, Phil Murphy, they are knuckleheads. But you shouldn't punish everybody else because of them. You have the power to shut these bars down. Do it. Shut the bars that break, at least shut the ones down that break the guidelines. All right? It's easy enough to find these places. Shut them down uh, and, and let the other places, like the, the, like the fast food restaurants and, and, and the chain restaurants and the family restaurants reopen, and let these bars be shut down. Because a certain demographic can't behave themselves, then a certain demographic should suffer, not the rest of us. All right? And it's too bad if a certain spoiled little preppy, little white, little finance professional, Wall Street, little spoiled little brat, little demographic doesn't like it. It's too damn bad. Karma will get these people one day. It will eventually. Coronavirus wasn't it. Apparently it wasn't it because they're still so full of themselves. Something else will get them. Something else will bring down Wall Street. Something else will bring down the South Shore. And it's probably going to be from Mother Nature in the form of a hurricane. So that's going to be it, and I'm not saying I want it to happen, but it's going to happen because karma does come to those who want to be selfish, arrogant, and, 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 and put other people's health at risk. Karma will come to these people. It has to. So that's going to be it for this video, and if you're a snob, it's too bad if you don't like it. You can dislike the video as much as you want. I'm not going to change my mind. I hate all of you. You all need to, you all need to stop acting the way you do 
being so snobbish and arrogant, only wanting to be your own kind, pricing other people out. I know you're all moving out of the city now because you're afraid of the crime that Bill de Blasio is doing, and they're going to try to price more people out of the suburbs. I know you're kind, and I'm not going to put up with you. You think you can get away with what you're doing and nobody's going to stop you? Nobody's going to try to speak up? All right? Well, I'm going to speak up. I'm, I may not be able to stop you, but I sure as hell am going to speak up because it's important that this behavior be documented. You're snobbish, you're racists, you're arrogant, and you will pay for this someday, the way you're acting right now. All right? And I really wish Governor Cuomo would do something about the way you all are acting right now. Instead of making everybody, like, I have friends in New York City who can't dine indoors because of the way y'all acting, all right? They can't dine indoors, all right? Because y'all can't behave yourselves and have some respect for people's health. Disgraceful. Thank you for watching, and take care.